All right, everyone, we're in the last part of section 6.1 uh, for the textbook Linear Algebra Done Openly. And I wanted to talk about uh, eigenvalues with respect to triangular matrices. It turns out this idea of triangular matrices as it's related to eigenvalues is going to be connected to determinants, um, which actually is sort of like there's a, there's a nice connection between eigenvalues and determinants that we're going to talk about here. So it turns out that the eigenvalues of a triangular matrix are just the entries of its main diagonal. So for a triangular matrix, there is no calculation you have to do to find eigenvalues. It's really nice. So I want to give you a quick argument why that is, right? So let, let A be a triangular matrix. And if it's a triangular matrix, then at what it's going to look like will be something of the following form. Um, your matrix A would look like, we'll just assume it's upper triangular, a lower triangular matrix would do something similar. Um, we could take some entries, we're gonna call it lambda one is the first diagonal, lambda two, lambda three, all the way down to lambda n. And all the entries above the diagonal, we don't really care about, we'll just put them as stars, right? There's something, but we don't really care what they are. Um, that's not gonna be of interest to us. And then as it's upper triangular, everything below is going to be, um, everything below there is going to be zero as well. So we get something like this here. So just focus here on these, just focus here on these diagonal uh, entries right here. And so because the matrix is triangular, sorry, because the matrix is triangular, what happens when we take this matrix A, uh, A, excuse me, A minus lambda I? Right, and let's say we have a specific lambda i in mind. What if we subtract lambda y i, or so a minus lambda i i, like this? Well, if you did that, and so let's say that this was like the second position, right? Um, if we subtracted lambda lambda two from all of these pieces. For the most part, everything's unaffected, but I'll notice, bring your attention to this one right here is somewhat significant, right? Um, in this situation, if you were to subtract lambda two from lambda two, kind of erase that out there, uh, you'll end up with just a zero sitting right here. Uh, you get this zero. And so you'll notice that this, this matrix right here is gonna be singular. Uh, because a, a, a triangular matrix is singular if and only if it has a zero along the diagonal. And so the thing is, since A was triangular, A minus lambda I will be triangular as well. And this matrix here is singular um, if and only if it has a zero on the diagonal. And this will happen if and only if um, lambda is a diagonal entry. So for diagonal matrices, you get this cute little trick here that the diagonals are the only eigen, are these are, so all the diagonal entries are eigenvalues and also nothing other than a diagonal number for these uh, triangular matrices will be an eigenvalue. So let's actually look at two triangular matrices for a moment. The first matrix A you see, it's an upper triangular matrix and its diagonal entries are right here. So what are the eigenvalues? The eigenvalues are gonna be three, zero, and two. And I wanna draw your attention to a moment right here that it is perfectly okay for zero to be an eigenvalue. We say that the zero vector is not considered an eigenvector, but the zero number can be an eigenvalue. Uh, the eigenvalues for this matrix are just gonna be zero, three, two, because it's upper triangular. Um, example B right here, it's a lower triangular matrix, but that doesn't make any difference for us. Um, we get that the eigenvalues are, looking at the diagonals, 4, 1, and 4, right? Now, admittedly, this 4 shows up twice on the diagonal, so if you want to list it, it's just the eigenvalues are 4 and 1, that's okay. But sometimes we like to list these things um, when they're repeated, we want to list them twice, because uh, the idea is that this is a repeated eigenvalue. The significance of a repeated eigenvalue will make more sense uh, forthcoming. Uh, but for the moment, this matrix has a repeated eigenvalue of four. Uh, but the eigenvalues of the matrix are going to be four and one. So that's a super simple way to find uh, the eigenvalues of triangular matrices. And it, it, it comes from this fact about the uh, determinants, basically. 
uh, because the determinant of a triangular matrix is just the product of the diagonals. We're going to see in the next section that determinants and eigenvalues are, are connected more than what you might initially suspect. And um, because we've seen how to check in this section if a vector is an eigenvector, if an if a if lambda is an eigenvalue or not. And if we find an eigenvalue, we can find the eigenvectors. So the question comes down to how do we find the eigenvalues? For triangular matrices, it's pretty simple, but what do we do when the matrix is not triangular? We're gonna talk about this more in section 6.2 as we discuss the characteristic polynomial. Um, thanks for watching this video, either this part or the whole series or, or some other parts of it. It's good to have everyone in their support. If you like what you see, feel free to like this video or all the other videos. Leave comments if you have any questions. I'm glad to answer them. Um, subscribe if you like these videos and want to see some more of them in the future. Um, I will see you next time. Stay tuned. Um, stay healthy, everyone, and have a great day. Bye.